Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've got some huge news to share with you all today regarding social security and stimulus checks. The House has officially passed a new bill that would provide major increases to social security benefits, SSI, SSDI, and VA payments. This is absolutely massive news and I'm so excited to break it all down for you. In the first four minutes of this video, I really want to focus on hyping up this news and getting you all excited about the major changes that are on the way. This bill passing the House is a monumental step forward and brings us one huge leap closer to seniors and disabled Americans getting more money in their pockets. The increases we're talking about are absolutely unprecedented and will make a dramatic improvement in people's lives. I mean just think about it, after years and years of minimal cost of living adjustments to Social Security, we are finally seeing real action being taken to increase benefits and put more money in the hands of people who need it most. With inflation being so high and prices surging on everyday expenses like groceries and gas, this bill could not have come at a better time. The next big takeaway is that the bill still needs to pass the Senate and be signed by the President before becoming law. But make no mistake, this is still an incredibly positive development and brings us significantly closer to more money for seniors and disabled Americans. I don't want to get too deep into the nitty-gritty details yet, because I know many of you are just looking for the big picture here. But in short, this bill would lead to Social Security benefits increasing by about $150 per month on average, which is just huge. We're talking about the biggest increase to Social Security in decades. So in these first few minutes, I really just want to hammer home how excited and thrilled I am about this news. This is exactly what we've been fighting for and advocating so strongly in support of. After years of meager cost of living adjustments, seniors and disabled Americans are finally getting the boost they need and deserve. And I know many of you watching are directly impacted by this, either already receiving social security or disability benefits, or getting close to the age where you'll need this income. So this is very real and very personal for millions of people. All right, now that we've covered the key points and hype around this monumental news, let's get into the nitty gritty details. Here's exactly what's included in the Social Security Bill that the House just passed and what it would mean for you. First and foremost, Social Security benefits for current and future retirees would be increased between $150 to $200 per month on average. This includes all Social Security retirement, disability, and survivor benefits. For context, the last major increase to Social Security was just a 5.9% cost of living adjustment. That came out to only about $92 per month for the average beneficiary. So this new bill would nearly double the size of the increase seniors have been getting. And unlike typical annual adjustments, this increase is permanently baked into the benefit formula going forward. On top of the Social Security increases, the bill also includes major boosts to SSI and SSDI payments. SSI recipients could see increases of up to $150 per month, which would lift hundreds of thousands of seniors and disabled individuals out of poverty. For SSDI, benefits would increase by about $200 per month on average, providing major relief to millions of disabled Americans. And for VA disability recipients, monthly payments would increase between $150 to $200 per month on average. This would provide a huge benefit boost for disabled veterans. Now in terms of timeline, the goal is to have all these changes take effect by the end of 2023. But of course, the bill still needs to pass the Senate and be signed by the President before becoming law. Assuming it is passed and enacted sometime this year, the SSA would work quickly to update their systems and calculations to reflect the new benefit amounts. That way they can start paying out the new higher amounts as soon as possible. It's likely we'd see the initial benefit increases hit bank accounts in late 2023 or early 2024. So millions of Americans could start seeing several hundred dollars more in their monthly checks right away. And to be clear, these benefit increases would be permanent going forward. So we're not just talking about a one-time stimulus payment. This bill would lock in recurring monthly benefit increases for life. Now I know many of you are wondering who exactly qualifies for these higher Social Security payments. The good news is that every Social Security beneficiary would qualify and see an increase. Regardless of your work history, income level, assets, or other factors your Social Security benefit amount would go up if this bill becomes law. Of course, 
not everyone would receive the maximum $200 per month increase. Your exact benefit bump would depend on your current monthly payment amount. But across the board, all Social Security recipients would see a meaningful boost. Beyond just Social Security, the bill expands eligibility for SSI benefits by increasing the income and asset limits. This change would allow more low-income seniors and disabled individuals to qualify for supplemental assistance. Right now, you can't have more than $2,000 in assets to qualify for SSI. This bill would raise that limit to $10,000, allowing more people with modest savings to receive benefits. The income limits for SSI would also be increased, opening the program up to more low-income Americans who need the help. So in summary, this bill would mean bigger Social Security checks, larger SSI and SSDI payments, and expanded eligibility for supplemental benefits. It's a huge win for seniors and disabled individuals who need this support. Now clearly, with any major legislation like this, the key question is, how will our government pay for it? The costs of these programs are covered by payroll taxes, so adjusting the funding mechanisms is an important part of passing this bill. There are a few key ways lawmakers plan to fund the expansion. First, the Social Security payroll tax cap would be eliminated. Right now, only the first $147,000 of income is taxed for Social Security. By removing that cap, higher earners would pay taxes on all their payroll income. Second, the bill institutes a new minimum corporate tax for major companies. This would ensure large profitable corporations pay at least 15% in taxes, helping fund the Social Security improvements. And third, additional funding would come from beefed-up IRS tax enforcement. With increased audits of high earners and corporations, the IRS will collect more unpaid taxes to help fund the benefits expansion. The combination of these three funding mechanisms gives lawmakers confidence they can support the major boost in Social Security benefits without adding to the federal deficit or debt. And removing the payroll tax cap is especially key because it creates a more progressive system where higher income workers contribute more and the expanded benefits are focused on low and middle income Americans who need them most. All right, now I want to provide a quick recap and summary of everything we just covered regarding the major Social Security improvements on the way. The House passed a new bill that would significantly increase Social Security retirement, disability, and survivor benefits. Average retirement benefits would increase by about $150 to $200 per month under this legislation. SSI and SSDI payments would also see major boosts under the bill, rising by $150 to $200 per month on average. VA disability benefits would increase by similar amounts, providing essential relief for disabled veterans. The bill still needs to pass the Senate and be signed by the President before becoming law. But the House passage is a major step forward. If enacted this year, the SSA could start paying out the new higher amounts by late 2023 or early 2024. The benefit increases would be permanent, not just one-time stimulus checks. So monthly income would be higher for life. To pay for the expansion, the bill institutes several new funding mechanisms. This includes a new minimum corporate tax, eliminating the payroll tax cap, and increasing IRS tax enforcement on high earners and corporations. That's a high-level overview of the key details regarding the massive Social Security and disability benefit expansions that are making their way through Congress right now. This bill has huge implications for millions of seniors and disabled individuals who rely on this essential income. Of course, I'll be sure to keep you updated every step of the way as this legislation continues to advance. Once it passes the Senate and gets approval from the President, I'll provide another update so you know exactly when to expect the new higher payments. In the meantime, I highly recommend reaching out to your elected representatives and urging them to support this bill. Especially if you are a Social Security beneficiary, recipient of SSI slash SSDI, or a disabled veteran. Hearing from constituents who would benefit from this expansion will be key to getting more members of Congress on board. As many of you know, Social Security recipients get their monthly payments on three different dates depending on their birthday. Those with birthdays between the 1 ST and 10 TH of the month receive payments on the second Wednesday. Birthdays between the 11 TH and 20 TH get paid on the third Wednesday. And finally, those with birthdays between the 21 ST and month's end receive benefits on the fourth Wednesday. 
So what does this mean for January 2023 with the major cost of living adjustment now in effect? Well, recipients who have birthdays before the 21 ST should have already received their first increased monthly payment last week on January 11 th. For those with birthdays after the 21 ST, your first boosted check will arrive on January 24 th, which is next Wednesday. So if you haven't seen the bump yet, just hang tight for a few more days. Now you're probably wondering, exactly how much extra will I be getting in my social security payment with this new COLA increase? Well, the maximum benefit available is going up by about $150 to $4,873 per month. However, the average payment for all retired workers is increasing by $58 per month only. So while $58 more per check might not sound like a ton, that works out to an extra $696 for the entire year. And keep in mind that's the average, so many retirees will see even bigger increases. For example, if you currently get $2,000 per month, your new payment could go up by around $80 per month or $960 extra for the year. That's a nearly 5% boost, which is pretty significant especially when accounting for inflation. The key point is that all Social Security recipients will see a bump up in their monthly benefits this year thanks to the COLA but the exact amount varies depending on your current benefit level. In the first four minutes of this video, I really want to focus on just the basics of the social security payment schedule and when you'll see your bigger checks start rolling in. For those with birthdays before the 21 ST, your increased benefits should already be in your bank account. Check your monthly statements to confirm the new higher deposit went through. And if your birthday falls after the 21 ST, get ready for next Wednesday 1 24 when your bigger boosted social security payment will arrive. Again, retirees can expect an extra $58 per month on average, which works out to about $700 more for the entire year. Now that doesn't sound like a ton, but when accounting for high inflation, every dollar counts right now. And some beneficiaries will see even larger increases, especially those currently receiving maximum benefit amounts. So in short, January 24 th is the key date coming up when many Social Security recipients will get their first taste of the 2023 cost of living adjustment. Alright, now that we've covered the basics of when you'll see your COLA increase hit your bank account, let's get into some frequently asked questions and more details about how Social Security is administered. I know many of you still have additional questions about how your benefits are calculated, how COLAs are determined, what you need to do to start receiving payments, and more. So in the next few minutes, I'll walk through some of the most common social security questions I get from viewers. First question, are social security payment dates ever impacted by holidays or weekends? The answer is no. Your payment is always based on your birth date, no matter what day of the week it falls on. Social security benefits are paid on the 2ND, 3RD, and 4TH Wednesdays of each month. The only exception is if your normal payment date actually falls on a holiday. In those rare cases, you'll receive the money on the preceding Tuesday instead. The other option is to call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213 and speak with a representative to apply over the phone. This can take a little longer but can be helpful if you need assistance. No matter how you apply, you'll need to provide certain documents to confirm your age, citizenship status, and identity. This usually includes your birth certificate, W-2S or tax returns, and any military service records. The online application will walk you through exactly which documents you need based on your personal situation. And one final question, are Social Security benefits subject to federal income taxes? The short answer is yes, your benefits can be taxed depending on your total income from all sources. Specifically, if half your Social Security benefits plus your other income exceeds $25,000 as an individual or $32,000 as a married couple, up to 50% of benefits are taxable. And if those income thresholds are exceed by even higher amounts, up to 85% of benefits can be taxed. So make sure to consider any potential taxes when budgeting the additional income from Social Security. Taxes vary based on your total earnings each year. All right. That covers some of the most common questions I get from viewers about Social Security. Hopefully the payment schedule info and additional details are helpful as you look forward to receiving your bigger checks this year. Social Security monthly payments arrive on the 2ND, 
3RD, or 4TH Wednesday depending on your birthday. COLA increases for 2023 have started rolling out, with another badge coming 1-24. With current inflation levels, this added income couldn't come at a better time.